want to pee on this grass. They put us all in the same dot. I love it. I don't like that. And she's actually for sale. This nice grass. Look, it even has like fake dead stuff in it. Why are you laughing at me? There's our battery. Really? Yeah. Where? It's on the bottom right there. Mm -hmm. Here's our old battery bank. Here's our new battery. This is one shot. We had a fourth we turned in for a cord. So the first thing I have to do before I install the battery is set my inverter charger. I've got an old Trace Engineering one and it has a secret menu. So you go to this part, hit those two buttons, go to battery charging, hit down, and in this menu you can set all of your settings for a lithium battery. So this is my 60 amp DC to DC charger. What this will do is it will allow me to charge our battery bank with the alternator, which is awesome, especially on our ride home because we're motoring most of the way. So hopefully we can keep the battery topped off at all times. If you've seen some of our previous episodes, you know that we had the smoke and CO alarms that were going off at random times even in the middle of the night and we finally figured out that it was just our battery bank off gassing because we had traditional lead acid batteries that came with the boat when we bought it we've only owned this boat for about two weeks and we thought that we could get home on the batteries that we had but when we realized that the batteries were off gassing which creates a dangerous situation we realized that we then had the option of either buying a completely new battery bank or switching to lithium we chose to switch to lithium. So we have here a big lead time lithium battery that we're now installing. So why lithium anyway? Well, we don't have a very big boat. It's only 37 feet and our compartment where we put our batteries isn't very big. It's big enough for a decent sized battery bank, but you can get more amp hours out of a lithium battery. So why not put a few lithium batteries in the same amount of space and get a lot more power? It just makes sense. So that's what we did. And we're starting with one and we will add to this as we go because they're not cheap. So even though these batteries are more expensive than traditional lead acid batteries, they do last like four times longer. So if you're keeping your boat for a while, then it's worth it anyway. They're safer, they're maintenance free, and overall I think it's the right choice for our boat. So even though it's only one lithium battery, which is about the equivalent of our previous battery bank, we can't run everything when we're underway, which is completely normal on a boat. We still have to watch and monitor our power. So we think that we could probably run our refrigeration, our water pump when needed, our bilge pumps, lights, and a few things like that. So we're not gonna be able to be excessive with with power usage now once we upgrade we can do more when we have maybe two or three of these in here but for now we're still at the equivalent of 
about what our last battery bank was. How many do you think we have room for? Two. Three, maybe. Not, I don't think we can fit four or three 460 amp hour. But I definitely think we can build a major bank out of these batteries. We could probably put another 460 right in here. Mm -hmm. And then maybe a 200 or something back there. Are you supposed to ground first? Doesn't matter, they both spark. Battery actual volts DC 13.7. I'm going to install my DC to DC 60 amp inverter. Ooh, I think the only place I really have to put it is right about there. Four up. All right, we can do this. This will be it. I am finished for the night. I am out of parts and I'm just cleaning up some wiring and putting all my tools away like a good boy. What do you think about it? I don't know if this is going to work with this bigger panel, but I know I can make it work. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot bigger than what we had. So how many watts did we have back here before? We had 64 watts, but it's about the size of a 100 watt solar panel in now times. In now times. So ours <laughs> was really old. And then what is this, 220? Uh, this is 220 bifocal. So it gets um, sun or energy from the top and the bottom. So I thought it'd be cool, you know, if you've ever been on boats enough, you know, you get sunburned by the water as much as you do the sun. So I just thought it it made sense, you know. I don't have the tools to get a really straight cut, but I am going to lift it up that high so we can get to the cleats, which was a problem with that one. How high? Seven and a half inches. We're going to see how it works. None of those look like they're the same length. Does it well, matter? they weren't going to be the same length. Okay. But they do need to be closer than this. All right. Round two. I basically can't help with anything until Hal wraps up this uh, zzzin. So, um, let's go play on the dock. I can't get off the boat because Hal's in my way. I really wanted to show you guys some boats and the bo Are you letting me off? Oh. Cut these okay, okay. My boss man pulled into town this morning on another Tiana 37. Um, he had that one listed for 89,000, I think. And it just sold. Well, it's it's they're they're having a sea trial and a haul out tomorrow, so. Um, yeah, it and coincidentally, they have brought it here. So that is four, <laughs> that's four <laughs> Tiana 37s on G Dock. I jokingly told him before I got here, I said, tell him to put you on G Dock with the rest of Taiwan. So, sorry, not sorry, I'm wearing my cool new uh, Blue Planet eyewear things. I, I really, they make everything look so happy. <laughs> they really do. They really do. And I needed new sunnies pretty bad, so. Um, I lost a really nice, uh, sunnies. What? Why are you laughing at me? Where in the hell did you pick up sunnies? Sunnies? Yeah. I don't know. Why? What do you mean? It's not a slang term I've ever heard. I don't know. Talk to the Aussies. Uh, you must have picked it up somewhere off. I don't know. I've, I've, I've been spent most of my life off in the world and not here, so that would make sense. Anyway, let's go. So down here we have a monk. And we have this gorgeous Katie Krogan. 
Then we have a Cabo Rico. And then we have our Tiana 37. And then we have a second Tiana 37 here. Now this is Ariel and she's actually for sale. So if you like our boat and uh, you know, you're interested in one, this one is available. Uh, I don't remember the price exactly. We were gonna look at it and then we ended up looking at ours and we were just kind of sold. Um, but this one is priced higher than ours was. Um, don't quote me on the price, but I think it was under 75000 But uh, she's got some solar up there. Now, I talked to the owner of this boat just the other day, and he moved his chain plates to the exterior, which is a pretty big deal. This is what we're going to have to do on ours. This is a pretty one. Um, this had a teak deck, of course, at one time. This teak deck's been pulled off and redone, which is an asset to the boat, frankly. It's what we will have to do if we decide that we, you know, don't want to keep the teak that we've got. Of course, even if we keep our teak deck, we're still going to have to uh, pull it off and repair some damage and whatnot. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? They put us all in the same dock. I love it. They <laughs> just like put us all together. I said earlier, these people understand us. <laughs> So here's one very nice couple lives on this one. It's beautiful. And uh, this is the one that came in today. Uh, but yeah, this one is is selling. I'll let you know if it doesn't sell because it will be right back up for sale. In which case, you can uh, let me know if you're interested. Or in that other one back there, you could let me know if you're interested in that one. Be happy to arrange to show you. I am a broker. This is definitely going to have to be redone when we get home. How come? Because it is very hard to find all the parts here and I am just kind of putting it together the best I can. As long as it doesn't fall off the boat. I don't think it'll do that. Okay. That's all that really matters. Progress has been made and Hal has been to the store multiple times and we just had help from a neighboring boat <laughs> to get the solar panel. Let, let me show you. This is straight up to get home. Wow. Yeah, I gotta. Can we secure it better than that? Well, it's not even that it's not secured good. It's it rocks in these two cleats right here. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, is there a way to cinch it down somehow with something else? Yeah. I don't like that. I don't yeah. like that at all. I mean, I feel like the wind could catch that. Rip it off. I mean, how old is... is I mean, that plastic, those brackets? The brackets aren't what I'm worried about. It's these cleats right here. It's right here is where all the motion is. Yeah, but it's petering on that deal. On what deal? The plastic. What plastic? This? Yes. No, that's great. That's solid. That'll work. Rock it back and forth. That's what's moving. No, this is moving. Oh. The whole bar's moving. Um, I don't know. The bar doesn't look like it's moving as much as that thing. And it's just rickety on that thing. No, this isn't sliding at all. Where am I going with this? I'm just inside so it don't fall in the water. Okay. 
Billy wants to help so bad. He is helping. He is helping. He's helping morale. <laughs> New 460 amp hour lead time battery is installed and tied down. 60 amp DC to DC chargers installed and charging the battery when by the alternator. And solar panel with the 60 amp uh, controller. Solar controller is installed. Entire house battery bank is installed and working. We are on it right now. So this is the battery bank inverting and making electricity. So, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.